best thing to fix alternative only what you really need to understand all right so the first thing that we are going to start out is the free option because let's face it most of the time when you try to start out you want to either start for free or find the cheapest option or the best value so if you want to find a free option thinkific actually is a platform that does provide the free option as you can see here they do have a free plan that doesn't cost anything and in this plan as you can see you can have up to three different courses you can have unlimited students um, content hosting all of that so they don't have any of the advanced features so it's just as they say core features and that is pretty much all that you sort of need to create the course itself just to publish your lessons and get students enrolled and they don't even have any transaction fees so it's actually really really good to start out by the way i have created a document of 50 best growth hacks used by the biggest marketers out there check the link below and then what this doesn't have is basically all of the marketing tools so as you can see here um all the emails drip campaigns affiliate reports um email integrations custom domain uh, coupons all of those kind of things you will not have any of that but at the same time again you don't need to pay anything this is completely free option so is this something that I recommend and the answer is not really because when it comes to online courses you have 100% margin because it doesn't cost you anything to fulfill the orders once you have your course made and for all of the other marketing features that you will get it just makes sense to invest that 30 40 or 50 dollars because you are going to increase your conversion rate quite a bit with all of the coupons the emails the affiliates and so on and so on so i would definitely advise to go for a paid plan but if you are completely broke and you really just want to start out with something then thinkific does have a pretty amazing free completely free plan that you can start out with by the way i created a blueprint for the best business model out there so check the description so the next thing that i wanted to talk about that is very very important when it comes to basic plans I would say that more or less when you look at all of these different features as you can see what i already mentioned you have coupons emails you have um, email integrations custom domains all of that when it comes to all of the different platforms i would say that these features are more or less the same however there is one major difference on thinkific and that is that they actually have affiliate reporting and what this means is that you can have your students to sign up as affiliates and if they enjoy the course they can recommend it to other people and you give them a commission from the sale that they generated through their affiliate link and this works really really well i do this myself and because people love my content my courses they share those courses with their friends and i don't need to do any marketing i just have sales come in as referrals it depends whether you want to use one or not but most of the people use it it works really well and you can set how much money you want to give out for every sign up so if you don't want to go with the pro plan and you just want to stick with basic plan and you really care to have that affiliate program then i would say thinkific is probably your option because for all of the other platforms you will need to upgrade to pro plan to have that affiliate program the downside here is that if you look at the price of thinkific the monthly price uh, for the basic plan is 49 dollars which is a little bit higher than the other platforms so if we go to teachable you will see that teachable is 39 dollars which is 10 dollars less but at the same time you do have to keep in mind that they have five percent transaction fee and that five percent can really add up it might not seem like a lot but if you're selling an online course that is $200, then 5% is already $10 from every single course that you sell. So you only need to sell one course and then the plan, the basic plan is going to cost you as much as Thinkific. 
and hopefully you're going to be selling more than just one course a month so this really can add up quite a bit and honestly i think this is because teachable is the biggest platform out there they started out the first i think they started out the first i signed up for them the first and because they are kind of the leader in the space i think that's why they have these a little bit more expensive prices but when it comes to all of the other functions and all of that i don't really see anything that much that is better than thinkific um, and then if you look at the other platform that is learn worlds you will see that the monthly pricing for starter plan here is only 29 dollars so this is quite a bit lower than the other platforms but at the same time you also have as you can see five dollar fee per course sale so this again is sort of like teachable but this is a fixed fee so it really depends on what you price your course so if you price your course hundred dollars then uh five percent of that would be five dollars so it would be exactly the same as teachable so if it's less than hundred dollars then teachable becomes cheaper if it's more than hundred dollars then learn worlds becomes cheaper uh, it is 29 dollars to start out with so it's already the base fee is a little bit cheaper and then it depends how many sales you do so if you have some courses that are very very cheap then that five dollar fee might be quite a bit and the last platform is podia so on podia we have the mover plan which is basically the basic plan and that plan only costs 39 dollars and it doesn't have any other fees so this is really i would say yes well on teachable it's also only 39 dollars and uh learn worlds is 29 dollars i would say that podia is the cheapest option because those fees either five percent on teachable or five dollars on learn worlds those fees are going to add up pretty quick so this is really i would say podia is the cheapest option one thing you have to understand about podia as well is that they are sort of trying to be a place for everything so it's not just online courses alone but you have a lot of other stuff as well so as you can see here Aside from the online courses, you also have digital downloads. So on other platforms, you can kind of go around and create a course that actually is just a link for a digital download. But it's nice to just be able to open your store where you have your courses and you have your digital downloads and people just click to purchase and they get the download right away. They also have webinars and they have messaging, some things that you don't have on other platforms and in the other plan that i'm going to talk about later they also have memberships and they have blog and all of those kind of things one thing to keep in mind though that if you want to have additional teammate it's going to cost you 20 dollars per teammate per month so this is sort of what you need to take into consideration that if you either have a partner that you're working with or you have a virtual assistant that's going to help you out then you are going to be paying extra 20 dollars and that can add up quite a bit on all of these platforms you can choose an annual plan and as you can see you can save 20 percent so that's the case with thinkific that's the case with learn words as well you have 20 percent yearly plan uh, same on teachable on podia they like us to do a little bit of math so they actually just show you that you save 78 dollars but fortunately I have done the math for you so that comes to around 17 16 17 percent discount so it becomes 32.5 dollars per month if you are choosing the annual plan so if you're just going to choose to go with the basic plan and if you need an affiliate system if that's something that you are going to do then thinkific is probably the best option even though it is a little bit more expensive and if you don't care about the affiliate system then i would say either try learn words because it is only 29 dollars to start with but there is going to be a five dollar fee or really i would say just go with podia with 39 dollars and they have even more features than any of the other platforms so now for you to understand why you might want to upgrade to the pro plan so 
For the basic plan, you will have vast majority of the features that you need. However, there are a couple of things why you want to upgrade to the pro plan. And I would say the major things are, first of all, the affiliate program, what I already mentioned. And aside from that, an important thing would be to have your own blog. So if this is something that you want to do that you might consider a pro plan, though then again, I would really suggest for you to have a separate website, a WordPress blog just for your blog alone and not have your blog. But if this is what you want to do, then all of these options except Thinkific. Thinkific doesn't have a blog, but all of the other platforms, they do have a blog with a pro plan. And then another very important thing why majority of the people switch to the pro plan is the memberships and basically the pricing options. So if we go to Thinkific and we go to the features, you can see all of the features list. If we go to sales and marketing, you will see that on the pro plan you have additional course prices you have bundles and memberships and offer payment plans so basically if you want to have more than one product on your course so perhaps let's say you're selling your course plus you're going to sell coaching as a bundle or you're, you want to bundle a couple of different courses together which is always a really great option it's very easy to get additional 100 200 dollars just from having that little bundle option for people to choose so this is one of the main things i would say why you might want to upgrade to one of the pro plans also aside from that for most of the websites if you want to have third-party code if you want to basically install your Facebook pixel your um, Google Ads pixel whatever it is you will need to also go with a pro plan so when it comes to you the pro plan the things change quite a bit and mainly because when it comes to Thinkific and the basic plan we don't really care that it has the affiliate plan anymore because now all of the platforms are including the affiliate plan as well so in that case if we look at Thinkific they will cost you $99 per month and if we go to Teachable Teachable is $119 a month which again I think is a little bit overpriced and if we go to Learn Worlds you will see it's $99 a month as well and then if we go to Podia Podia is only $79 a month. So again, the even more straight uh, compared to the other plan with the pro plan, Podia is definitely the cheapest option out there. And again, it's not just the cheapest option. If you look at all of the features that you get on Podia, you actually get a lot more things because they pretty much have everything that the other platforms have. But they also offer you digital downloads, again, webinars, messaging, and you can have your own blog, uh, memberships and all of that. So really, I don't quite see a reason why you should go with one of the other platforms if Podia has everything and even more and they actually come for a cheaper price another really important point to think about is that if you're going to go with a pro plan and if you choose annual pricing then when you look at podia podia doesn't actually give you the exact amount they just love us doing math but i've already done it for you so it's 16 17 percent discount so it turns out to be 66 dollars per month which is really really amazing price so when you think about it if you're going to go with thinkific and you are going to go with that basic plan and you're going to pay 50 dollars a month or even if you do the annual plan and you're paying 39 dollars a month if you go with Podia, the premium plan, and you pay annually, you're paying $66. So it's basically just $16 or $26 more per month. But then you're getting all of the futures, you are getting the pro plan. So for me personally, price-wise and just all the features that I am getting from a platform, that really just makes most sense. So aside from the price and all of that, when it comes to futures, 
I would say that all of these platforms more or less have exact same features. If there is something very specific that you need for your cars, then you might want to investigate a little bit further. But when it comes to all of the core features, more or less, they are pretty much exactly the same. I would say that the user interface is a little bit more simple on Podia than it is on Thinkific or on Teachable. It's a little bit more complicated on those platforms and it is just really nice and easy design to navigate though none of these platforms really are difficult to navigate or anything like that but that's just something to keep in mind if this is important thing for you another thing that is very important are landing pages and again i would say there isn't any major difference between all of these different platforms when it comes to courses landing pages are so so important because you can really break it or make it for your online course it could just increase your conversion rate so much so honestly i wouldn't even suggest to use any of these page builders i would rather suggest you to get a separate page builder that is a lot more advanced and you can get a lot more done for your page let me know down below in the comments if you want me to make a separate video on just that and i'll try to leave some useful information in the description as well but when it comes to design itself i would say that podia has a little bit nicer landing pages compared to the other platforms but then again it is all sort of your own personal preference but at the end of the day i would say more or less you can kind of do the same things so i hope you found this video useful i hope this Help you to understand which platform is the best based on what exactly you want to get from the platform. As I said, I have special discounts for all of these platforms, so check out the links down below in the description. Also, I have another channel that reviews a lot of other business tools, so we'll leave a link for that down below in the description as well. If you found this video useful, then make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, put on those notifications so you see every time I publish a new video. Stay awesome and I'll see you soon.